We're like two weeks late on this one, and I'm super surprised that no one has spoiled us, so... I'm actually not. You guys have been pretty good. <laughs> oh, I just mean like Twitter in general. Get up here. Come yeah, on. it's it's one of those things where I feel like when people want to yell at us about spoilers, like they do so immediately. But like for the most oh, part, true. people like people who are fans of this channel and people who are fans of like the stuff we do are are generally speaking pretty good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh are my you god. Gonna join me or not? Cats on the floor believe going, it or I not, get up here. No, I don't. Like, believe it or not, like two minutes ago, she was silent. Nothing. She wants to be part of the conversation. And she's sad when she's left out. Like, a little bit. I think it's like mild sabotage attempts. I'm not sure. The kittens are talking. I want to be part of it. I mean, a little bit. Yeah, yeah for sure. a little bit. Winter, are you getting up here or not? For, hey. for the record, for people who don't get that reference, Apparently cats think of humans as big, dumb kittens. Oh yeah, yeah. Dogs understand that people are not dogs, but love us anyway. Cats think that people are big, dumb kittens. Which is why they try to feed us, which is why they meow at us because we can't hear them, which is why they... That's why they leave, like, dead rodents on your doorstep or dead lizards on your doorstep if you're, if you're my family growing up. It's an expression of love. I love you. Don't die. It's like, yeah, here, I'm trying to feed you because you're clearly too dumb to feed yourself. Anyway, in the midst of this cat lesson, we are looking at a camp camp. It just says episode 14. I assume that's season three, episode 14. Culture Day. This, I'm so happy. Like, the last holiday special that they did was magical and it had Elizabeth Maxwell singing. So I'm... I'm real excited to see what they do for this one. Global warming and also vaccinate your kids. Whew. They I went mean, for it. Whew, whew. They went for it. But before we get started on this, of course, we have a word from our sponsors, Fred's BS. They are, by the time this video goes up, the holiday call for Fred's BS will have come and gone. Oh yeah, but, it's, it's done today. Oh yeah, it's done. But you can always get treats for the new year. We have brown sugar buddies, which are incredible cookies. They're kind of like snickerdoodles and kind of like molasses cookies, but they're in that wonderful, awesome Venn diagram overlap between the two, and they are so good. We have brownies. We have I know the peppermint brownies were, had uh, cookie bottoms. I'm not sure if the peppermint brownies are staying on the site through January. I think they might be. It is well worth checking out. Ooh. And, of course, we have all sorts of different flavors of jam. Fred does really really super good stuff and I highly recommend it because it's very tasty. Get the Paradise Sunrise! Yes! Raspberry Peach. Yeah. yeah, everything is fresh, never frozen, everything is made in small batches, the flavors are not found in stores. Again, you, cookie bottom peppermint brownies and raspberry peach jam and all of these wonderful things, wonderful things that you really should be layering into a sandwich of sweets and glory. Yeah, treat yourself, it's wonderful. And of course if you are in Los Angeles you can do pickup, which Occasionally, when I do it, it gets me cookies or brownies fresh out of the oven, which is amazing. So yeah, if you're in LA, you can do pickup, and I would highly recommend it. So head over to fredsbs.com, that is F-R-E-D-S-B-S.com, and use coupon code Kia Cookies for 20% off of your entire order. At the time when this... Oh my god, Winter. I love you, but oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. I edit this love out? Love my cat. Can we edit this out? Uh, I don't know if that's. Woo! I love you, sweetie. It's a camp camp video, so I think it works. I don't. <laughs> Under no circumstances is it won't. Woo! <laughs> At the time of this recording, holiday <laughs> orders are closed because, like a good number of us, Fred travels for the holidays. <laughs> but you can always head on over after the holidays are over and uh, place an order for. I don't know if he's in town for New Year's or not. Uh, place an order for <laughs> later. Get yourself cookies later because later is good. <laughs> Get yourself cookies. Seriously. Fredsbs.com. Coupon code Kia Cookies. They're so good, you guys. You deserve good things. You do. Even Treat when yourself. your cat farts on you. Jeez. Can we edit that out for real? I love her. Um, <laughs> cookies for you, brownies for me, jam for your jam buds. Happy New Year, I guess. Happy New Year. Well, hopefully, this will be up before Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Happy everybody. Happy 
holiday. I'm still a little under the weather, so sorry if my throat is like rad. And we both definitely came from a party, so we're both a little woo oh, yeah. right now. Definitely super drunk. Me, personally. <laughs> I am slightly less drunk. I am sidekick drunk, not super drunk. Come by! Water. Not water. But we figure if we're going to be a little out of it, Camp Camp is about the best thing to record. I'm so excited. We've waited so long. Yes, we have. So let's do this. Camp Camp episode 14, Culture Day. Click. You're fired. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah, happy holidays. So. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> we're not fired. Yay. Watching this on YouTube. excited as I am for Culture Day? Ecstatic. <laughs> for all the campers to share their personal heritage with us, it'll be great and informative. Stares at Dolph's food. Welcome, weary travelers. Oh, no. Will I interest you in tales from my homeland of Vinyamar? Oh, Where on Earth just is that? After how dark Ruby's been, this is such earth. like a... But, campers, we are not here to talk about Harry Twilight. The purpose of Culture Day Harry was to show Twilight. where your family comes from and what makes it special to you. I did that. <laughs> I can't show it to you. <laughs> it's classified. I love that. Um, this is my Hindu culture, represented by a picture of Gandhi, who I'm choosing to say is my cousin. <laughs> Honestly, this is much more effort than I expected from you. Oh, Cheers. poor I Max. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. None of you took Culture Day seriously. I might just have to cancel the Feast of Flavors from around the world know. and only serve plain old hot dogs instead. Aaron, hey. put up the, the rainbow flag. That's true. Oh, oh, Neil, what's all this? Just some Jewish stuff my dad sent over. It's not really a big deal. Well, I think it's great. What the fuck are you wearing? Cool. What's this big book of spells? That's the, oh, the Torah. What's this weird-shaped lamp? It's a menorah. It holds the Hanukkah candles. What is a Hanukkah? Do you oh, really want to know? Oh yeah. my gosh, it's guys, cool. really? Inflammable. You think it's cool? There are a bunch of like 12 year olds. Well, 12 year olds should know at this point. A monument to Jewish culture, hmm? Oh no! I have one thing to say to that. I love it. Great job. And everyone just kind of the collective sigh of relief. Someone did a Ruby animated intro to this song, and it's amazing. I believe their Instagram is Starlord Rocks, but I'm not sure. Hold on. No, it's not hyperbole. Our motto can't be DM, and that means I'm telling you. And the cat left. Yeah, cat. it's Star Lord Rocks with a Z at the end. Highly recommend checking out their Ruby Camp Camp intro on either Twitter or Instagram, YouTube as well. Definitely so check it out. It's great. Cool about this Hanukkah day? It's actually eight days. Nerf's Whoa. culture is prison. Did you see that? And you get it's a sad. present for every one of them. Whoa. Holy shit! What else? What else? All the adults give you gold coins. Uh, oh, but when you open them, they're actually chocolate. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no! the history of this incredible <laughs> tradition. More? Sure. So the story of Hanukkah actually takes place during the times of the Second Temple, approximately 160 BC, if I'm not mistaken, in the geographic region of ancient, of, uh, of ancient. Raise your hand if you learned about this from the Rugrats. <laughs> oh no, me too, for sure. But I remember the Rugrats special about it because the Pickles family was Jewish. Well, there was this guy called Judas Maccabee. He had super strength, the power of flight, and oh yeah, he also had laser beam eyes and shot pure molten gold. I feel like you're embellishing a teeny tiny bit. Yes, exactly! As a simple bastard child, but with his good heart and just ways, he managed to climb up to become the king of the north! He was of all his citizens and the love of the powerful dragon queen! Wow! I feel like it sure sounds a lot like Game of Thrones. 
Game of Thrones is totally based on the Hanukkah story. Whoa! I want to be Jewish! This version of Hanukkah almost sounds too good to be true. Oh, shut up! You leave Neil and Hanukkah alone! It's okay, Nerf. My people Seriously, are look, Alcatraz. Come on, Aww. Wait until I tell you about the time Judas Maccabee got the Infinity Gauntlet! <laughs> the, uh... I went to Catholic school in elementary school, so we, I'll be honest, we learned, like, the basics of Hanukkah, but, like, which is cool, it's a, it's a miracle, but, like, for the most part, we more, learned more about Passover. It's the crown jewel of Culture Day. We've got bratwurst for Dolph, samosas for Max, prison gruel for Nerf, and something called Lembus bread for Neris. Oh, no, the platypus ate everything! I hope you have an explanation for your behavior, madam, and don't even think of pretending it's rabies again. <laughs> Ow, seriously, does this thing ever stop eating? For the last time, you stupid animal, Gwen is not food. Too late. It has the taste for flesh. <laughs> it's it's okay, it's on its back. It's not moving anywhere anytime soon. What yeah. You just what can of shale. Shale? Expired. Definitely expired. 1980. Oh, oh my god. Professionals. Oh, he says Max. out loud in front of everyone. So even though 
the Maccabees were just a small rebellious group. They managed to overthrow the Greeks, take over Jerusalem, and get back the temple. But supplies were low, and all they could find there was one single cruise of oil. The Jewish people started losing hope. Ready? Ready. Knowing that the sacred menorah could only be lit by the specially oh, prepared pure olive oil, of which they only had oh, so my God. <laughs> they only had enough for I'm one day. So relaxed right now. Me too. <laughs> She's got the eye patch and the cucumber on it. Oh, you're right. I can't hear it for the most part either. <laughs> oh, in fucking G, you see. Now it's all I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing that all three of them are Samantha Ireland. She's such oh good range. God. The single tiny cruise of oil managed to keep the candles lit for eight hours. Enough time to make a new batch of oil. And that is why we saw the winter game special edition. Remember the miracle that kept the temple lit after the no less miraculous victory of the Maccabees. Now that story is amazing. Perfection in simplicity. You could have yeah. just started. Well, it better than that. all that space stuff. I didn't, but it was still pretty beat. <laughs> Let's go celebrate right now. We could have started the, with that from December, the top. Sure, there's something plausibly related over at David's Feast of World Hunger or whatever. Feast? What are we waiting for? <gasps> oh, no. So, Neil, that part about the eight days of presence is still real, right? Yeah, definitely. And it's always cool presence. <laughs> it's never just eight days of boring socks. Sweet. I can't believe <gasps> a single can of sham managed to make all this amazing food. It sure. Really is a culture day miracle. He knows <laughs> it's not relaxed. I almost can't hear the sounds of those little girls being terrorized. Oh, this is the life. You said it. <sighs> Aww. Quartermaster and the little pink moo moo. Like. <laughs> Just click the link already! No! You can't tell me what to do, Gus. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, pre recorded Gus. <laughs> It. it was so it was good. good. That was cute. That was so good. It was it was distilled camp camp. Absolutely. Absolutely. Camp camp episode. And it was nice. And it was one of those ones where it works as a holiday special, but at the same time it doesn't necessarily have to yeah. be. Because I they again, camp camp away from the Decepticon. <laughs> Oh, Neil. It's just one of those, the more you lie, the bigger it gets, the harder it is to keep track of. For like, sure. Like, yeah. But it's just... Neil. And to, again, my Catholic school's credit, like, uh, they did a good job explaining what Hanukkah was and why we celebrate it and why the importance of Passover and everything like that. And that was something, like, I, like... Looking at my public school counterparts, I was just kind of like, did you not learn about this? This is something I feel like everyone should know. Public school. Or totally even did. even a lot of other Catholic schools, like talking about like, Hanukkah specifically, I'm like, it's still a miracle. Why are you not learning about it? Duh. <laughs> because it's not Christian. Nope, Old Testament. I was like, but, but still a miracle, though. Yeah. <laughs> I have questions about the thing that you're saying. No, this uh, is no, lovely. We learned about it in elementary school because we just, Montana. Every grade did a, there was always a holiday concert, and every grade had a set of songs, so you know, you'd line up and you'd get on the risers, and you'd sing your little set of songs, and your parents in the audience, Aww, and the gym where they set so up folding cute. chairs, and you'd clap, and then you'd leave, and the next grade would come up, and every grade had at least one non-denominational song, and one Hanukkah song. Okay. There aren't that many Hanukkah songs to go around, so occasionally you'd get the same one a couple of grades later. Huh. 
At least not many Hanukkah the songs. The same year? Could, no, 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 like. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, wait, what? <laughs> yes, yes, everyone is going to do In the Window. <laughs> like, okay. Or maybe there just weren't that many Hanukkah songs to go around for the elementary school choir. Set. Maybe. You know? But that's also where I learned it's a marshmallow world in the winter. Can't say I've ever heard that one. It's a. Uh... Dean Martin? You know. Dean Rat Pack. You know what I love though? And again, I don't know when this is getting uploaded. Uh, when I was a kid. Before I remember, Christmas. Yeah. Soon. I, I remember. Uh, this story from Elementary School. Who? Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. Did you ever hear? You never heard that? That sounds story? familiar, but shit. It's oh been a while. my god. That was one of my favorite stories growing up. And again, I went to Catholic school, and this was a story I learned in Catholic school. It was literally one that, like, the librarian read to us when we were kids in elementary school. And I remember loving it because Herschel's so, like, <laughs> clever and smart. And it, it was it was a good story. I don't know if you've heard it, like, as an adult in any capacity. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys don't know about Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins, it's great. And I highly recommend it. Um, it's adorable. Go go check it out. I really don't have any other Hanukkah stories aside from, yep, totally did Hanukkah songs as a kid. Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. Look it up. ASAP. It's great. I'm so happy. <laughs> just think, just thinking about it. I don't know if that's nostalgia talking, but like I said, my... You're my, also a little drunk. A little bit. But like <laughs> my elementary school, which was a Catholic school, was actually pretty good about including some Jewish stories, which... Uh, again, to their credit, was something they didn't have to do, but I appreciate that they did. I'm pretty agnostic these days, but I'm like, yay! Yay Hanukkah stories! <laughs> You're having a good time. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. <laughs> I don't know if you can, super fucking I don't know if you can still hear me. <laughs> I feel like I... Camera's got good audio. I pickup. feel like I'm a whisper. <laughs> I think we should probably wrap this, because I think we've hit the end of our story. <laughs> Check out yeah. Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins for like the third time. I need to show you these because it's such a good fairy tale. I love it. What? Okay. <laughs> I have no voice. Anyway. You have plenty of voice. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Do you hear me? <laughs> Do you hear me right Anyway, now? before we go too much further off the rails. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Manguin. That's T H E M E N G U I N. Or I guess before you run out of voice. I have no voice. I've said that you like three times. You have voice. <laughs> And it's I'm gone. Katie, and I'm Katie. You can follow me all over the social medias and on Twitch at Kiaxe. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. Uh, we have a horror channel, Silver Underscore Screams, on the social media, Silver Screams on YouTube. We talk about horror things. Look it up. It's super fun. Uh, yeah, if you want to support this channel, if you like what we do, we have a Patreon, which gets you early reactions, early reactions, early access, that's what it is, to all of our Rooster Teeth stuff, special reactions that don't make it to YouTube, just all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, if you want to throw a couple bucks our way, if you want to buy a toy for the cat, if you want to do whatever, um, we do have a Kofi. If we do with... <laughs> One more time. We take commissions. Well, we don't take requests. We take commissions. And, of course, supporting our sponsor supports us, so head over to fredsbs.com, F-R-E-D-S-B-S.com, and use coupon code PIOCOOKIES for 20% off of your entire order. All that information is in the description below. If you like the channel, if you want to see more of the channel, if you like more of this batshit insanity that we are usually we do, more sober. <laughs> usually. Yeah. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Usually the bell does something creative, but I the fuck am out. So every time ring the bell, it does a creative thing. Every time you ring the bell, it provides an activity for campers at summer camp, whether they want to or not. Ding 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 ding. ding. Teacher says. Really? I don't know what you're talking. Every about. time a bell rings, an 
angel gets its wings. Oh, really? I, I want to really? hit you. I want to really? hit you in the face through that voice. Really? Oh my gosh. That's the voice. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's Zuzu. That's the voice. I, can I be honest with you? You've never seen it? I've never watched a mirror like that. I've never watched um, it's, it's a, a Wonderful, wonderful life. life in its entirety from beginning to end. Okay. I've only ever caught like chunks of it That's one and of those parodies where of it. You have to do it at least once. I've only ever seen it all the way through once. But you gotta do it at least once. Okay. But anyway, like, subscribe, ding. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Happy holidays, everyone. In the window where you can see the glow from my menorah on newly fallen snow, I will send you a little candle for it's the first night of Hanukkah. Ding! And you'd go through all eight nights and it would just keep ding. The first night of Hanukkah. Ding! And then you just go through all eight nights, and that's the, and the bell would ding once for each candle at the end of every night, and that's it. That's the song. <laughs> I've never heard that song, but it sounds lovely. I think Montana might have made it up. I've never heard it anywhere else. Thanks, Montana.